All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 15 model 20309. All right, so you're going to be using a JAS1 screwdriver. First thing we'll do is remove the battery. So slide these two tabs to the side. This one stays locked in place. This one you have to keep holding. Then you can go ahead and, go ahead and pull the battery out. All right, the battery model number is right there. It's super tiny, L12S4F01. All right, that's the model. Um, to remove this, there's two rubber feet. We're gonna have to pull these out, okay? And then let's go ahead and get all these screws out, okay? Keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. Uh, the way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. All right, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, if you can't help out that way, it would help out a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then comment and like them as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. All right, so let's go ahead and finish getting all these screws out. There we go. Got another screw all the way out here. Another screw over here. Three screws going along here. All right. Oh, that screw doesn't want to come out. And then we got four screws down here. All right, now that we got all the screws out, let's go ahead and pop the bottom cover off. Let's see, usually what I find works best is I'll get my fingernails in the gap here, and then we'll see, I'll push with my thumb on the back. Let's see, depending how this model's built, if it's built that way, I'm not sure. All right, so I'll get my fingernails in there and I'll push with my thumb on the palm rest, make sure not to push on the touchpad or trackpad area, okay? And you can see it's popping up. I'm gonna slowly carefully close this down. And then now that we have a gap here, I'm gonna slide my fingernail in the gap as I pull up on the bottom cover. Okay, and it did pop up partially. Let's go around the other side, same thing. Pull up and oh, it looks like it's already coming out. So we'll just kind of wiggle this and there we go. There's the bottom cover off. All right, so it looks like the hard drive was already removed here. Um, this computer wasn't turning on, so maybe the customer brought this in the past. For some reason, I don't have a video of it, but there's four screws here. This was holding a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Very common design with this connector that comes off of it. All right, uh, I'm just gonna quickly show what's inside. There's two tabs here, pull to the side, it pops up the RAM, you can slide it out. This is DDR3 1600, so PC3 RAM. All right, you got a CMOS BIOS RTC, real-time clock battery here, so if you need to replace that. It's a CR2032W, right? If you need uh, replacement CMOS or BIOS batteries, I do have an affiliate link with the company. If you need that, just let me know and I can send that. There's the fan here. Uh, there's the LCD uh, LVDS connector here. If you're going to mess with this, it's always a good idea to, after disconnecting the battery, open up the laptop and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. You got the DC jack charge port connector here and the cable runs along and plugs in right there. All right, you got this connector here, which I'm not sure what it's for, likely for the camera, microphones or something. It's going up into the screen area. You got the wireless antennas, Wi-Fi antennas here. You pull up from the tails to pop those out. There's this tiny board here, which I'm not sure what it's for. Um, and it looks like keyboard backlight connector, that orangey brown one is going maybe up into there. Okay, you got this big cable running across for the two USB ports, the SD card slot and the headphone jack. Um, then you got the volume control buttons here running along. You got this little cable going underneath here. It looks like into the touchpad. And then you have this cable here for the um, uh, LED activity indicator lights there, All right? Speaker cable is right there and another speaker right there. So there's two connections. Um, what else? It looks like there's a slot here, probably for an M.2 SSD, but it's one of the shorter ones, not the full length. And 
And I don't know if there's anything else here to talk about. It's a battery connector. I don't know why they made it that way, but it's removable. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and reassemble this. I don't see where the keyboard connector is, so you probably have to lift the motherboard up to get to that. Um, the keyboard does seem like it can be pried out from the top, but I'm not going to mess around with that. So yeah, usually if you want to find out that, you would look for a replacement keyboard and then see if there's any screw holes or anything that's on the back that might be holding it in place. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get this thing back together. Just line everything up. Click it all back down and get all the screws back in. Sorry, this was just a really quick look inside. Uh, but anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then comment on those as well and like them because, yeah, that's what the algorithm likes to see. And that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in, but there's not much else to it, right? Don't forget to put these screws on and then put the rubber feet back underneath. And we should be good to go. All right, get that back on. There's a lot of tiny screws here at the back. Okay. And yeah, there's only one slot for RAM. I don't know if there's some integrated RAM on the motherboard itself. Depending on your storage or your RAM capacity and how much RAM you have, you can kind of check if you subtract the RAM storage capacity from like the RAM removable RAM and you still have RAM left, then very likely there's some built-in ram there okay all right we're almost done make sure that when you put the battery back that you also lock this in place but other than that that seems to be all there is to it let's get the last screw in get the little rubber foot in battery flip this over and it just slides into place like that make sure to lock it again and yeah that's about it. All right. Um, again, this computer, I don't know why, but it's dead. It's not turning on at all. It's not doing anything. Like, it doesn't even show it's charging. Um, the customer actually bought a replacement battery, and the battery wasn't doing anything either, so very likely it's a dead motherboard. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a frame around the keyboard, so likely you can pop that out from the top. And that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.